Howdy! We've seen the definitions of Boolean algebra laws and rules. Now we want to apply them to be able to simplify complicated logic equations. These steps may seem strange and challenging at first, but learning to simplify at this stage greatly reduces cost in the long run, both in terms of time and money. Compare these two Boolean equations. They are logically identical. That means they have the same truth table. Or another way of saying it is that we could build a circuit based on either one, and the light bulb would turn on for the exact same conditions. Which one would you rather work with? The obvious answer is the second one. It requires fewer logic gates, in fact, just one OR gate. This means a lower cost for materials like chips and wires. It also means less time to wire and fewer opportunities for mistakes. Perhaps most important, the second equation allows us to more easily wrap our minds around the situation. It becomes understandable logic rather than some abstract equation. So let's explore how we can apply Boolean rules to make our designs easier. Here's the first example expression. Our strategy will be to scan through the given operations and try to match any patterns we see with Boolean rules we have already studied. Here's the same rules list we saw last video. Note that the rule numbers are arbitrary, but they help us in this discussion. So what pattern jumps out first? In the parentheses, we notice x or x prime. This follows the pattern of rule six. Anything ORed with its complement equals one. So we replace the whole term with a one. That leads us to the next pattern. Any literal anded with one equals itself, rule four. So one and y simply equals y. Up next, we can apply rule 11. Why rule 11 and not rule 10? Here, in the first term, we see a literal y, and in the next term, that literal's complement, y prime. This points us to rule 11. As a result, we end with y or z prime. This cannot be simplified any further, so we are finished. How can we see these patterns quickly? The only way is with practice. At first, you'll likely need to carefully scan this rules list on each step. But after several exercise problems, these rules start to become second nature. So let's look at another example. If we could simplify within any parentheses, that would be ideal, but it turns out we can't. So let's try distributing. We could distribute across all terms, but my recommendation is to just expand these first two. Some of you may know this step as FOIL, which stands for first, outside, inside, last. The technical term is distributing, and it requires we multiply each term in one set of parentheses with each term in the other. So here we get a and a prime, a and b prime, a prime and b prime, b prime and b prime, all with plus signs in between. This last b or c term has not been touched, so it tags along for the ride intact. Now we can apply some rules. Any literal anded with its complement equals zero, rule eight. Any literal anded with itself equals itself, rule seven. Those are the only changes in this line. Next, we can apply rule 10. Why rule 10? Because here we see a standalone literal, b prime, being ORed with itself times something else, b prime a prime. So that product term drops out and we are left with just b prime. And look at this, we can apply rule 10 again with b prime or b prime a. In the next step, we see zero or b prime. We know anything ORed with zero equals itself, rule one. So that whole distribution results in simply b prime. Now we involve this tag along b or c by distributing the b prime. Finally, we notice b prime ended with b. Anything anded with its complement is zero, rule six, and then anything ORed with zero is itself, rule one, leaving us with B prime and C. A lot of steps for sure, but this nice simple result is worth the effort put in. 
Note that we could have saved some steps by applying rule 12. Anytime we see some terms in parentheses being multiplied together, we should consider rule 12. But ultimately, we ended with the same final result. This shows that multiple routes can reach the same finish line.